Welcome Cancers, I'm back y'all with another video. So yeah, I've been a little MIA for the past couple of weeks, but I am back, back, back. Yes, I'm back guys. So this is going to be for the month of June. So um, if you have Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, Jupiter, you can utilize this video. Okay. Um, be sure to subscribe if you're new. Welcome, newbies. We would love to have you here. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe because you aren't going to want to miss out on future videos. As well, guys, really quick, I want to talk to you guys about the new energy clearing spray. All right, so I haven't really had a chance to present uh this product to you guys as much as i do to my other platforms because my other platforms have been selling me out so fast so i said this week and next week i'm going to exclusively uh direct this energy towards my uh youtube because i haven't been on my youtube in about two weeks so i want to get my uh subscribers a chance to get in on this 20 percent off of your uh entire order but this is a must have guys this product is amazing when i tell you this is going to be your alternate uh alternative to palo i'm sorry to palo santo or sage you know some people can't burn it some people can't burn sage and Palo Santo in their home, in their office. This is going to be the alternative, okay? It has an amazing fragrance. You can utilize this in your office, your home, your place of business, your car. When you're out and about, it has a, a beautiful fragrance, okay? Um, it has, it is fully charged, guys, with clear quartz crystals, okay? So it is charged for the with the intentions to clear energy okay so this is going to be your go to like people are buying these by the bundles like it, it sells out so fast and that's why i was like you know what i need to give my subscribers a chance because i've been promoting it everywhere else except for on my channel because i haven't been on my channel the past couple weeks so, I want to let you guys know, after you watch the video, guys, go ahead over to the website, and it's a banner. When you click on the website, it's going to be a banner. It's going to give you your 20% uh, off code, and you can use that at the checkout to get 20% off your entire order. But you don't want to miss out on that product there. That product there is amazing. All right, so let's get into it, Cancers. Let's see what messages we got for you guys for the month of June. What messages do we got for y'all for the month of June? Ooh, okay. We got the two of wands. One is a jump. All right. Woo, okay. The nine of pentacles. All right. I like it already. The chariots. I love it. All right. Which is you guys' energy. King of pentacles. Nine of Wands, the Lovers, what? All right, Six of Wands, look, I'm loving this. King of Cups, Six of Pentacles, come on, what's the outcome for my Cancers for June? And the Eight of Swords, all right, so let's talk, honeys. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Seven of Wands, okay? So you're standing your ground. There's some obstacles that you... <coughs> Excuse me. There's some obstacles that you guys have overcome, okay? And I feel like you're not going back. You're not going back to that. You're done with that. Like, you are on a whole new wave. Look at this. You are balanced. You're at peace with the Queen of Cups and the Temperance. Like, yeah. You're, you're, I feel like you're feeling very good at this time. I feel like it's, your plans are moving forward. There's something that you've been planning. They're moving forward. Okay. I feel like you're focused on your finances. I feel like your finances are looking really, really good for this month. Why is the two of wands here? The eight of cups. Okay. And the ten of swords and the seven of wands came back out again. Okay. So you're making plans to go somewhere. Some of you are planning some type of trip or something here. 
planning on uh, uh, doing something new. There's something new, okay? I feel like with this Ace of Wands too, this could be some sexual energy, okay? So maybe you're making plans to get you some, okay? I'm just putting that out there. But I see you guys are watching someone, okay? You're watching someone. You're not saying anything. You're not saying anything. You're just watching, okay? So why is the chariot here? Ooh, the two of cups, yes. Like a situation is progressing. A situation is progressing, possibly with a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay? Yeah, it's like, I feel like something is moving forward. Something is progressing. I feel like you are putting yourself first, okay? You've done the soul searching. You've done the inner work. You're doing the inner work. You're feeling very secure about yourself, okay? You're feeling very secure. I feel like... You're just feeling great. You're feeling you're in a great space. I feel like there may be some changes. This is a shift for you. Okay. I feel like you may have come from out of a situation that was extremely draining for you. Um, and you were trying to find balance. I feel like you found that balance. Okay. This person that you're dealing with could have been a third party situation or there was possibly like a recent breakup, but this person was giving you a headache. Just flat out point blank. Like this person was just getting on your nerves, being aggravating. And I feel like now you're in a much better place. Some of you are even saving your money. You're saving your money like you're like you're doing you're doing well. The nine of wands here was in the past, okay? So some of you are, some of you, your focus is on work. There's something that you're working towards. There's something that you're working towards. Some of you, your focus is on your, on your pentacle. You've been working. I see the lovers here. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. Or there is a decision in love. Look at this. The Knight of Swords. Now, be careful in love because I feel like with the Knight of Swords, this is a really swift energy. This is a very, like, it's, it's for the moment type energy, okay? Or someone, it's either that or someone is coming in and they're coming in fast. Okay, someone could even possibly get pregnant. Okay, like this could happen so fast. Like somebody could find out that they're pregnant. But we got the Empress and the Moon. Okay. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The High Priestess. Your intuition is telling you that this person is coming. That's what this is. Okay, so you knew that this person was coming towards you. You didn't even have to reach out to them, but you're happy to hear from them. You want to visit them. You want to go and come over to their house, or they want to come over to your house, or you guys want to meet up. Your intuition was telling you that this person was coming. This com this person is coming in hot. They're coming in real fast. Gosh, that just sounds so dirty. <laughs> They're come. They are like rushing in. Okay, <laughs> they are rushing in. This is their energy. Um, they're rushing in. Your intuition was telling you that they that they're here. They come. <laughs> here they go. <laughs> All right. So I feel like at one point in time you were really really worried about your finances, or you were feeling like rejected or left out in the cold in the situation. But now I feel like you're getting attention. You're getting attention from who you want to get attention from. I feel like you, you you're you're watching this person. You're watching their moves. Like you're you're paying attention to this person. Then I said the page of swords jumped out and the knight of cups. Like yeah, you you're watching this person. Maybe you offering this person some some passionate moments here. Um, why is the king of cups here? You could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. 
but th this person looks views uh, somebody here is like looking at themselves as a good guy or a good female to to collab with to be cooperative cooperate with but they are focused on their past they see this new cup of offer so this is for some it's an ex that's coming back in for some it's uh someone is thinking about an ex but there there's a new offer here on the table there's a new cup of love here watch out for this person because this person likes to start arguments i think they think that it's like fun like they get a rush out of it it's like fun to them why is the six of pentacles here Yeah, there's a lot of king, there's a lot of wands. You could be dealing with the fire sign. But like I feel like you fear getting played by this person. You fear getting played by this person. Why is the eight of swords here? Yeah, see the ten of wands. The ten of wands and the eight of swords. I feel like you want it all. I feel like you want it all. Like I feel like you want the money. You want the the perfect love. You want a situation that is where everything is like going in your favor. I feel like you're manifesting this with this magician and this empress. You're manifesting this. The Nine of Cups. You're manifesting exactly what you want. So be ready to receive that. Be ready. Because I feel like it could be yours. It's yours if you want it. I feel like a lot of y'all are taking y'all power back. Somebody's taking their power back. Somebody is taking their power back. I feel like once in a situation, you may have felt rejected or put down or let down. But now, I feel like this person is giving you the attention or you're getting attention from other people. I feel like your intuition is telling you that this person is going to come running back to you. Yeah, I'm, but I'm feeling like something's telling you not to take the risk, not to take, not to, not to be so fast to take the cup, okay? <clears throat> yeah, you think, you think that you're going to regret it. Like, there's something about it, like, you're like, I don't want to regret it. So, you're kind of tiptoeing. You don't need no surprises. You don't want, you don't want no surprises. You don't want no surprises. So, you trying to tiptoe. You're trying to tiptoe, but I feel like you're a master manifester at this time. Like, things that you're thinking, be careful with the things that you're thinking, the things that you're saying. When you're seeing 111, 1111, you're seeing angel numbers and things like that. You need to be careful what you're saying and what you're thinking because you need to make sure that you're doing it with intent because there's something here about you guys' energy that is whatever you're thinking, whatever you're trying to manifest, get ready for it because it's, it's yours. You're, you're, it's the way you think, the things that you're saying, how you're taking action towards it. It's like, it's yours. You can have it. You can have a balance of everything. You don't have to pick and choose. Well, I got to, I don't, I want all of this, but I can only get this. No, you can have it all. You can have it all. All right. So that's the message that I have. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me pull from the romance angels. Let's see what messages we get for y'all. Woo! All right, so we got romantic feelings and finances and career. I'm telling you, you can have love and money, okay? We got playfulness and let your friends help you. I'm getting lots of, like, flirty type of energy. And spiritual, look at this, religious factors. Like I said, I do feel, I feel like some of you are engaging in your spirituality. Like, some of y'all are possibly, like, practicing on your manifesting and things of that nature i feel like 
you guys can have it all. That's just what I feel. Give me an overall energy. Oh, see, we got reconciliation and attraction. Somebody's coming back. Somebody that you've been waiting on. We got worth waiting for. Unrequited love and heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Give your relationship a chance. See, look, there's somebody here that is coming back. They're coming back. They're very extremely attracted to you. You are extremely attracted to them. I feel like you've been waiting for this person to come back. Because the way that things ended between you two was, it was like unrequited. It's like somebody was giving more to the situation than the other person. But we got this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So a conversation is needing to be had um, in order to give this uh, relationship another chance to work on this partnership. I feel like you need to get to know this person in a different light. If you decide to bring this person back in, um, and maybe some of you need to retreat like disconnect from everybody to in order to make this relationship work for some of you you got new love coming in you got some new stuff coming in but somebody from your past definitely wants to lay up with you and be around you somebody wants that back somebody wants that back but see there's been some deception going on during the separation so during the separation there has been a lot of deception going on there has been a lot of lies cheating all of that has been going on during the separation <coughs> excuse me guys but someone is still optimistic here about this situation. All right. So that's the message that I have for my cancers. All right. So if this message resonates with you, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let, definitely let me know what's going on in the comment section. And don't forget, guys, all right, to find this, this product, check the description box below. I have my website there. You guys can click on my website there's a banner that gives you the code to put in for your 20 percent off of your entire order all right so until next time guys ciao for now